What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, it's time to dive into one of my most recent artworks. If you've been around for long enough, you know that I create art. Usually I create these pretty messed up, extremely detailed charcoal drawings, but once in a while I do like to experiment with different media and that's what I did for this one. I love having art at home. I also like having my own art at home and that's why back in Europe, I started to experiment with this very abstract and mostly decorative style of an artwork to hang up on the walls. Because my usual drawings, they take a long time to complete. They can get a little sinister at times and if I actually make the effort and create them on such a big scale, I'd rather give them away or sell them. Now the majority of my work is very meaningful and symbolic, but I'm not even going to go ahead and make up some random message that the style of artwork that I'm going to be talking about in this video is trying to send because the main purpose really is decoration and giving myself a different kind of visual art creative outlet that doesn't require as much planning and thinking. Now already back when I lived in Europe, I experimented with this. I took old cartoon pages and covered an entire canvas with with it like patchwork and then over that I did an abstract and very colorful decorative oil painting. Now over the past two years I've definitely created four or five artworks in this style purely for my own enjoyment and literally a couple of days ago I finished a 12 foot long version of it. There was this big blank space above my couch that was screaming for an artwork. I wasn't going to do one of my charcoal drawings because I thought that might be a little too oppressing and too dark. So I thought to myself, why not revisit that old cartoon oil paint style that I used to love working with back in Europe. So that's what I did and I'm pretty happy with the outcome. First things first, I went to Home Depot. We're now at the Home Depot picking out some lumber for my artwork so I can build the frame. I love hardware stores like this. I don't know why they inspire me. It feels like I can do anything. Burst your pipe, screw the plumber, call Cody. As you can tell, I had a blast. I genuinely love stores like that. Now, the reason why I went to Home Depot is because I built my own canvas. Stretch canvases of that size, like 12 feet, 8 feet, even 6 feet, they go for hundreds if not thousands of dollars. We know that's not happening and I like to think outside of the box, believe it or not, I'm actually a really good handyman, so I built it myself. I measured everything, got some tempered hardboard, long wooden sticks for support beams in the back, and after I built that frame and put my stamp in the back like I always do, I signed it, I, you know, authenticated it and whatever you want to call it, I turned it around and started with the cartoons. Now this was big. What I usually do is I make this glue. I think it comes close to the glue that you glue wallpaper onto the wall with, but I don't know if it's exactly that. I also always add some coffee in there to enhance the old cartoon look because you know, old paper kind of looks brownish yellow. All of the cartoons I used for this artwork I got off of eBay. You can get really great vintage cartoon bundles for really close to nothing because they aren't worth much unless they're first editions or something special. So they all really are genuine vintage Disney cartoons. Now I recorded the time lapse for you guys. At one point I thought my knees were gonna pop out. This was not comfortable, but you know, it had to be done. I had my 1930s, 40s music playing. I was in my zone. I was wearing my latex gloves that I love to put on when I do any kind of art just to not get my hands too dirty because you know I'm not the kind of artist who likes to go outside and my hands are covered in paint and everyone knows I'm an artist. No, I have different lives that I like to lead. This is just one of them and it's gonna stay in its little area. Anyways, I finished it 12 foot long cartoon situation. <sighs> Done. And then came the fun, or so I thought. Turns out, of course, I ordered way too little paint. First off, I applied the paint the way I would then want to pull it along the artwork. Here are some clips from the pulling, and I immediately noticed that I had too little paint because what looks really good in abstract paintings, in my opinion, is the impasto technique, which is extremely thick paint on the canvas or whatever surface you're painting on. You need the texture, you need the variation, you need to make it obvious that it's a real artwork with character that's not just a print, you know? So I had way too little paint. I did blue, white, and red first. I was okay-ish happy with how it turned out. I ordered a burnt sienna off of Amazon, which was way more brown than orange. So now I had unwanted brown in the artwork, which, you know, kind of pissed me off, but I was like, it's art, I can fix it, it's my work, whatever. It's okay, it's manageable, it looks good. It, it's gonna be okay. Now the reason why I decided to go with the main colors as blue, white, red, and orange is because on my slightly gold, brassy, and white cream couch, there are orange and blue pillows. So obviously since the artwork was gonna go above the couch, you know, matchy matchy. You know, luckily I'm the artist, I have the power, so I might as well make it work perfectly. Anyways, I went ahead and ordered lots of orange paint. There was also some random purpley, raspberry, 
I think it was crimson paint in there. I don't remember ordering that, but it was there. And after I applied the orange and also that crimson thing, a couple more layers, I also then used literally a fork to create thicker patches of paint in one place and, and here and there, you know, to really tell a story, I finished the artwork. Now here is a little video of the artwork. If I would put a picture here of the 12 footwork, you wouldn't see much. So this is it. I'm not 100% happy with it, but then, you know, an artist never is. But I'm objectively not 100% happy with it. I feel like a little too much of the background is covered, but whatever. There's great textures in there, and I've never had this thick textures in any of the past works that I've created in this style. Now, as I said earlier, this artwork does not have a particular strong message or whatever you want to call it. Its main purpose is to look cute and be decorative. But there is a personal connection and a signature, if you want to call it that, that relates to what I included my art and those are the cartoons. I've always taken a lot of inspiration from Disney in all of my works, generally childhood symbols, especially old and kind of darker childhood symbols. And that's obviously communicated through the vintage cartoons that I've used to create the canvas. Now here is a fun little detail that I did pay attention to. When I went through all the old cartoons that I bought, I made sure to rip out and use only the pages that somewhat had a dark storyline. When you take your time and investigate the work a little better, you can really see that. Nothing seems to be wholesome and in the right place. Even in the parts where the cartoon is shining through the paint, where the paint isn't as thick, it is never a wholesome cartoon. There's always something dark going on. So there's a lot of thought behind it. It's not just cartoons slapped on with glue and then random paint. Of course, I kind of plan it out in my head, but in comparison to the other works that I do, this almost seems like a lazy project, if you know what I'm saying. But I love how it looks. And what I love about being an artist is that you can work with so much variety and just have fun with it. Do what makes you feel good. Try everything you can and every vision you have in your head is possible to achieve. And that's exactly what I tried to do with this artwork. There was a need, I created it, mission accomplished, and now I'm literally back to right here in front of me planning three to four extremely detailed drawings again, and I cannot wait to share them with you guys further down the road. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my other art explanation videos. When it comes to the detailed drawings, there's really a lot to talk about, and they are a lot more unique than this technique that I talked about in this video, but I still want wanted to share it with you guys because a 12 foot artwork is the largest artwork I've ever created no matter what style and I thought it was exciting and even though I'm not 100% happy with the outcome I still like to look at it and I'm happy with how it looks above my couch. If you guys have any questions make sure to comment them down below until next time see you soon and take care. Bye.